I'm about to put all of my weight on this country coach door. Oh, look at that doesn't even flex for a second. As many of you know, I'm a huge fan of Country Coach and I've seen all kinds of Country Coaches. This 2007 Country Coach Magna 630 the Rembrandt edition is the nicest in the best condition of any Country Coach I've ever seen. There's a lot of little details about this coach that I wanna show you and why this is the nicest Country Coach I've ever seen. As a lot of you know, I have spent a lot of time at the old Country Coach factory learning about country coach and i'm a huge fan it's got the dynamax chassis i've talked about the dynamax chassis in previous video a very robust build with a semi monocoque construction something we don't see in production coaches anymore these days now a lot of you are wondering why is this coach so clean well let me show you something here Look at this sticker. If you've seen a lot of pre-owned coaches, these stickers will always start peeling and start to get in bad shape. It's got the big awnings up top. I love the Country Coach front and rear caps. And as we go around it, I want to point out a couple other things to show how well this has been cared for. Look at that VIN sticker. Excellent condition. Here's the Oregon vehicle compliance sticker. Usually these will start to peel up I wanna show you inside this coach today, but let's take a look at the basement bays first. So right away, when I open this basement bay, I've gotta point out, this is about three inches or two and a half inches thick. It's a much more robust build than other bay doors and you can really feel it. Now this first bay is gonna have carpet and look at how good of condition all of the carpet is in. You've got a couple speakers, your outlets, your port for your cable. The bay two is gonna have a lot of the previous owner, or a lot of the stuff that comes along with the coach, like the decor pieces, but even the owner's manuals here, 6700. I wonder if this is Country Coach 6700 or what the meaning is of that number. I just confirmed with Brian from Brian's RV videos that this is Country Coach number 6700. But there's all the service records, a lot of value as to what's in this box. And honestly, this is in excellent condition, even the owner's manuals. And again, the lights, the carpet, all in great condition. Bay three is gonna be another slide out tray. Uh, it is a full pass through bay. Here's your battery bank for your house batteries. And you can just see how good of condition everything is in. And then bay five is gonna house the propane tank. And then it also has an access panel here. And that country coach styling, they were so far ahead of their time. And even the wheels are in excellent condition. As we go into the, the very last bay here, I can point out how good of condition this Allison sticker is. Now, this sticker did start to peel off, which is normal. Usually you never see these types of stickers, but everything is in really, it's, it, it's original condition. It's unbelievable to see how well this coach has been maintained. I've been in a lot of coaches and just stuff does not hold up this well. I would bet that this previous owner was meticulous. Now this is one of the biggest selling points of this coach. It's got the Cummins ISX 600. Even the engine bay is in excellent condition. All of these, I mean, there's a lot of heat back here. So for these stickers to stay in this good of condition really tells a story. And I mean, I'm just, just looking around like how clean this is. There's your country coach. Uh, all the original stickers, a lot of times these are peeled off and long gone, but just totally original side radiator coach. Here's the plumbing bay. Country Coach was so far ahead of their time, uh, 2007, to see a, a plumbing bay finished out like this. This was one of the top of the line coaches of its era. I've just got to point out, every sticker is still in excellent condition. Very rare for them for a piece of vinyl to hold up that well for so long. Even your water inlets are high end. You've got the power hose reel for your for your city water hookup. Little soap dispenser, a little place to wash your hands out here if you need. Uh, and then a spot for the sewer hose. Uh, and then a spot to store your sewer hose. I really like that they give you a compartment just to store your sewer hose. Very well thought of. And then I believe it will actually come right out uh, so you can just hook up very well designed there's your aqua hot and just unbelievable look at every sticker if you go look at other 2007 coaches i would bet they are not in this good of condition i mean you can 
can read everything. Usually this is covered in grease or dirty or rusted out. Um, I mean, even going back into these compartments, I'm not, I'm not messing with you guys when I said this is the nicest country coach I've ever seen. And then just, here's another look at these bay doors here. And I wanna demonstrate how strong these doors are. You can see how thick that is. And it's got these heavy duty components. Now, this is something that was demonstrated to me by the uh, previous president of sales at uh, Country Coach. So I normally wouldn't do this, but the guys at Country Coach are very confident. Josh, if you don't mind backing up a couple of feet, I'm uh, so you can see my shoes and I'm about to put all of my weight on this Country Coach door. I'm a little north of 200. I'm probably about 210 right now. Look at that. Doesn't even flex for a second. I mean, they don't, they just don't make coaches like that anymore. There's not a lot of coaches you can do that with. Going through here, now you've got your pass-through base. Here's more storage, has a nice little ladder, uh, pull-out tray on both sides. More storage, another pass-through bay without the tray to give you a little extra height in this bay. And so this generator bay is coming out right now. Our buddy Josh is, is pressing that bay, and we don't have the generator running or anything right now because uh, it's just being all run on power, but there's your 12.5 generator, Onan diesel generator. And then I wanna just point out how clean this bay with your hydraulic pumps in it and, and a lot of your fuses and components here. And of course, that country coach styling, that front end with the higher profile, they were so far ahead of the game. So let's take a look inside of this coach and right now we have the slide outs in so i want to show you this coach with the slide outs out and with the slide outs in here's what the coach looks like with the slide outs in. i am uh using it for my backpack storage right now that does not come with the coach but you can see you've got plenty of room to get through the coach large galley area you can get to your middle bathroom no problem you could still take a shower use your sinks use your head area really easy to get to everything your bed now you would need to climb over your bed to get to the rear closet there's a lot of really nice features on this coach one thing i like that this magna has is this nice little tray to set down your keys or your wallet or your phone while you're going down the road uh, the cockpit area is just in excellent condition Country Coach was way ahead of its time with the color combination. I really like these cream leathers, and they even have a two-toned look inside of the leather as well. And these chairs have lumbar support, different seat settings. They'll recline in different directions, and you can see the passenger chair has that same stuff, as well as the footrest that will come out. Uh, it does have a step cover as well. I mean, you could see just the condition of the of the steering wheel and the wood grain. All of the buttons are all in excellent condition. It has the little sticker showing that you're 13 feet tall. I highly recommend having that when driving an RV. A nice cup holder, CB radio. I always like to see that. Just a simple analog country coach dash. Uh, you do have a lot of your controls here on the steering wheel, your backup camera. This is a very open floor plan with the quad slides. Right now the slide outs are out. And one of the things that I like that Country Coach does is the ceiling treatments. Now you can see the really cool pattern and the aesthetics of this with the different textures and the lighting, just a subtle mirror and the wood trim. Now. This actually serves another purpose other than just looking good. It actually helps keep the sound down from those rooftop air conditioning units. Even though this looks really good, it also serves a function as well. Uh, now this is a very popular floor plan with a large couch over on this side and then a desk office area. I am housing my backpack over here. That does not come with the coach, but uh, you can see that nice solid surface countertop and you can run your uh, outlets through here. Uh, here's some of your controls for the coach. And I like how large this window is. You've got a very large window here as well as large windows on the sides of the slide outs. And then a nice dining area. And I just keep seeing all these little details like the sticker on that dining chair is in excellent condition. This coach has really been preserved to its original condition. You've got plenty of storage above your dinette area. The sharp television up front where when you're sitting in this recliner, 
real good position to watch TV up there or maybe get some work done on your laptop if needed. And when I was going down the road, I've got to point out one of the other things I really like about this passenger chair is it's got AC controls for your vents right here. So if you're the passenger, you don't have to ask the driver to change the AC controls. You can do all that yourself. And, and again, just perfect condition. Like you would have seen this coach brand new. All of these light switches are in excellent condition. Then you have a cup holder there as well. I really like the tile floor, the light tile floor with a high gloss. And then it's got a cool pattern within the tiles, giving it a very high end look. As we head back towards the galley area, this does have a crystal cabinet like you would see in the high-end bus conversions and Newell coaches. And look at that sticker, just perfect condition, just flawless right out of the wrapper. Uh, and I think it even has the stickers on the glasses that came originally with the coach. I really like the colors of this countertop. With a, I think it's a granite and the woodwork that Country Coach did. They were always very well known for their woodwork. You've got some storage above here. And again, look at all those stickers. Just in excellent condition, showing you where everything is. Lined with carpet. I mean, when you look inside of these coaches, it'll tell a story. And this is telling a story that this coach has barely been used. Fisher Pickel dishwasher. And then you do have a storage area below your dishwasher. Some more storage here. Again, all lined with carpet. Uh, GE microwave and then a large uh, residential refrigerator off to the driver's side so a very open floor plan when you go into the middle of the coach it's very wide you notice the entryway from the bedroom into the bathroom here is very wide you do have a radius shower and look at how much countertop space you have over here that's got to be at least three to four feet and again everything is in excellent condition even the Glass on the shower is in excellent condition and you can see all the tile work, very large shower. And you have your head area over here with an additional sink. Again, that same solid surface countertop. So the way that this bathroom goes into the bedroom, it, it gives everything a very large feel. And you can see all of the wood back here is in excellent condition and it has that same ceiling treatment to help keep that AC noise down. You do have a lot of countertop space on this side of the bed and still some countertop space on that side of bed, but not quite as much. Here in the back of the coach, you're gonna have your washer and dryer and that's housed right next to your closet back here. And you can see just everything is, is still in the wrapper. I would bet that ironing board has never been used. And then you've got your wardrobe all the way across the back there. And this coach only has, as we speak, 17,559 miles. It'll probably be like 17,561 or 62 by the time we get back to the dealership. All right, Josh, you want to hammer down on this 600 for us? Yeah, sure. We'll give her some, we'll give her some throttle. Wow, really nice pickup. Yeah beautiful day here in Florida and I just got to point out how well these country coaches ride it's a much smoother ride than a lot of the newer production coaches because of that semi monocoque construction we're going down I mean these are not your ideal roads you can see a lot of cracks um, you know really a, a lot of coaches you'd be hearing all kinds of stuff going on and uh, we're getting ready to make a right turn here so let's see how quickly I don't know if we're gonna make it all the way to 60 and we're technically coming out of a turn but let's see how quickly Josh can get this country coach up and going I think some, some traffic's coming Cool thing about this with that uh, Cummins ISX 600, it can pull a ton of uh, a ton of weight. Josh, what's your opinion on Country Coach? I'm really impressed with them. Uh, the, the acceleration, the handling, uh, the overall feel of the vehicle is really nice. I mean, it's really effortless to drive. Really, really nice vehicle. And Josh used to work for one of the Prevo conversion companies as well. So usually a lot of those bus guys will kind of knock anything else, but. Not a lot to knock here. I mean, we just went over a huge pothole. 
Yeah. Uh, a lot of other coaches would not have responded this smoothly. And I'll tell you what, I'm comfortable here. I think one of the things I like the most about this is these AC controls right here, just so I don't have to bug Josh and have him adjust the AC while it's going down the road. So we're getting ready to get back to the dealership and film some more coaches right now. I can't thank all of you enough for subscribing to the channel, liking these videos. I also greatly appreciate the team at the Motor Coach Store here in Bradenton, Florida for giving me the opportunity to take a look at this coach. If you are a serious buyer, you can get on the motorcoachstore.com and reach out to the team at the Motor Coach Store. This coach is listed for $222,222. So I greatly appreciate all of you and I hope you're all having a great day. Thanks again. <laughs>